We got a surprise in the mail today, and it is a box of Infinite Forbidden. A long lost box, actually. Check it out, guys. So I bought this box smack in the middle of July on my birthday. This is a birthday box. And it just got here about a few days ago. And uh, it was from Midwest TCGO, I believe, on whatnot. I've already got this box refunded, so I need to reach out to him, let him know that it actually came in. Let's see if he uh, has anything else for me to buy so I can make sure he gets uh, gets his money. But for the now, this box is long overdue. I had since written it off as a lost box. Never would see it again. But here we are. Close to the end. Close to Halloween. And we're going to start it off with the Fiend's Myths Tract. Secret Rare. Okay. Thanks for reminding me because, man, the past like four or five videos, we've just been knocking it out of the ballpark with these rarities, man. Do you think we can get another QCR? That would be something else. It'd be just the icing on the cake for the last few days. And Ragnarok, a wicked butterfly. I do need a QCR Millennium Onk for the collection. Let's see if we get that today. And more mimical stuff. I'm definitely keeping a hold of all the horror mimical stuff, and we'll just have it in the wings because it's a, it seems to be a fun archetype, and I kind of want to make an RPG style uh, pull game on whatnot. Which, by the way, guys, if you are not on whatnot, we have a link for fifteen dollars off your first purchase. If you are making a new account, and speaking of Millennium stuff, beautiful Shield of the Millennium Dynasty, look at that. An amazing retrain from an old card. Millennium Shield. Fantastic. One of the cards I definitely wanted to get. not building Millennium, not building Illusions, but I did get a, a beautiful QCR that's in the mail that can't wait to show you guys. Varar Valmonica Concord. Also, if you are new here, or if you're not, and you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do so. We are on the road to 500 subs. We are currently sitting at 144. The next stop is 250. And hello, Medulce Queen Tira Phrase. I have some very exciting stuff to open up when we hit 250 and 500 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe. Hell, I don't even care if you hit that like that that button. The alarm button? The bell? You'll see my videos. And a Kuipiko. Hey, when this thing popped up in the mail, I wasn't expecting anything. It just showed up. I, uh, 
thought I had maybe possibly ordered something on whatnot that I had forgotten about. And we have a Mimigul Cerberus. Fantastic. That's going straight into the Mimigul pile. And when I opened it, I was like, wait a second. I pulled out the packing slip, saw my birthday on there, and was like, well, hot damn. Looks like we get our birthday opening after all, so happy late birthday to me. And a gimmick puppet fan <laughs> fantasix machinix. I'm not even sure what these booster boxes are sitting at right now, value-wise. Probably a good 70 or so. And a sinking chin wakes from a millennium. I was asking for millennium stuff. So here we go. Another old school card that got a really fun errata. Update, a new face, some new art. And CY, CY, CXYZ, Gimmick Puppet, fan, uh, Fanatics Machinix. Fanatics and into six. I hope everybody's having a good day. I will be at work by the time you're watching this. Making people beautiful. And a Mimical Dragon. Fantastic. Getting the Mimical and the Millennium stuff. Perfect. Alright, we got another first pack secret on this side. Let's see. And Lord of the Missing Barrows. Negative on the secret rare right there. You guys stay uh, stay till the end of the video I have something really cool to show y'all it's actually not a Yu-Gi-Oh card at all if there's any if you're a baseball fan holy look at that a stellar of the white forest another fantastic new archetype that has amazing and beautiful artwork awesome I think I already have one this will make two Chillin' in the, um, I'll keep these in the binder. I think White Forest is another archetype that I might just start building in the wings. I already have almost a complete Ashen deck. I do have an, I have a very well fleshed out branded deck. And Fiendsmith's Desiree. So I'm finally starting to find some other archetypes aside from Branded that I'm really starting to enjoy or at least like the uh, artwork of. Beansmith is actually isn't too bad. And another Quibico. And where's the where's the homie Broomy? Where's Broomy? Roomy. Also, every set there is a hilarious card that I love, and out of this one, it's going to be Broomy. And Cosmo Queen, another card that got a nice new face. Same she wasn't in higher rarity, given her last one was an ultra uh, ultra rare, into McDonald's promos, and whatever reprints she got after that. Oh, man, this, that's just a good day, man. The, oh, the crown is heavy. 
Ain't that right, Mimi Coolmaster? He's got quite the crown himself. Sir, may I congratulate you on your beautiful crown? And it seems like with the new meta going on that it is pretty much, well, Fiend Smith's uh, reign of terror is pretty much over. We're going to have some new kids on the block with Raziel. Raziel, Raziel. That's pretty cool. That's, that's some nifty artwork. Necroquip Princess. Has there been a QCR just floating around out there in the ether waiting to get to me? Magicaloidal soul. And I like how all of the white forest cards are very like wolf art. Still need one more ultra rare and possibly a QCR out of this. Oh, poor depressed part. And Fiend Smith in Paradise. And Broomy. Oh, the light and darkness dragon. QCR is so beautiful. Emblem of Salvation. And Centurion Etri. Very blue. Interesting artwork. That's actually kind of pretty. That's very pretty. Cosmo Queen. See, look at that artwork. So much better. And beware the white forest. Look at that beautiful holographic shine. Two more, and I think we're still missing an ultra and possible QCR. Last video, we uh, we ended it on, on an ultimate rare. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out my mini box opening on the last video. And, uh, well, make sure you watch it all the way through because I was really happy with everything that I pulled throughout the, well, almost the entirety of the video. And Wedju Temple for our last ultra rare. All right. Keeping up with the uh, Mimigul theme. That box didn't want to go anywhere. No. Wouldn't it be cool? This is a QCR. Rusia, the White Forest. Aerial Eater. Fiend Reflection of the Millennium. Emblem of Salvation. And a different Mimigul Archfiend. Fantastic. I think we got almost the full run of the Mimigul's out of this set, too. Well, hot damn. Hello, 
a stellar and fiend smith's tract and for any possible baseball fans that might still be watching at this point in time i said I had something very special to show you guys and it is a mickey mantle ken griffey jr dual autograph beautiful and minty and as soon as I get this thing authenticated I'm going to be a happy man well happy belated birthday to me very belated that was a wonderful opening could have done a lot worse once again the crown, still, the crown is still in effect and in the next video Maybe we'll open up the rest of those lighted destruction boxes. Later.